This edition of Go Kenora is brought to you by Swift Cash. Welcome to the show, everyone. Good morning. What a beautiful, fabulous Tuesday. It is. Crisp mm -hmm. out there, eh? A little oh. bit slippery in places? Uh, a lot slippery in a lot of places. Yeah. Yeah, it's been kind of like a kind of like a skating rink all weekend. Mm -hmm. So, and the, But the next couple of days actually do bode well. So the Gold Canard weather is brought to you by Super 8 and Casey's. A high of minus 3 today with a low of minus 8. Uh, with some cloudy skies. Tomorrow, one. Yay! With a low of minus eight and some sunshine. And then for uh, Thursday, a low of minus uh, seven and a high of minus three. So we're going to have one uh, fairly decent day, mm -hmm. hopefully, because the, yeah, the weekend was nuts. Mm -hmm. It was um, trying to get in and out of the driveway and just actually around town. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there was a lot, a lot of ice. And the Remembrance Day parades canceled? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been... Yeah, that that would have been messy. Well, yeah, well, exactly. It was. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it was. Uh, it was pretty slick. It was pretty dangerous. So hopefully, everybody got through the weekend uh, mm -hmm. safely and without any major injuries. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was actually gonna put my soccer cleats on just to go inside. Not just a bad idea. Stomp around. Yeah. Yeah. Be, that, yeah, they, that helped. It wouldn't be too bad. How was your weekend? Would you uh, your long weekend? My long weekend. I uh, you know I just uh, tended to baby and uh, mm -hmm. pole vaulted the Great Wall of China. What about you? <laughs> I uh, actually you know what? I did a lot of hanging at home. I actually, I've been redecorating lots, painted my living room, painted my oh, upstairs yeah. hallway. I uh, took my dad out to go watch the new James Bond, and uh, how was it? It was excellent. Yes, yeah, that's very, what I hear. very good. That's so what I hear. I'll yeah, so it was kind of nice. It was uh, not a bad little weekend. So yeah, mm -hmm. good stuff. And it also it makes the it makes the week uh, the week go faster because we're down a day already. Yeah. So, but. You know what? Today, this week's going to be really good because we have a we have a couple of great guests today. We have a lot of guests today. Mm -hmm. Today yeah. we have um, the illustrious Mayor Canfield for two more years, and uh, Mayor for a day, <laughs> uh, Maya Boyvin is here as well. So she uh, she submitted an essay, and she won. So now she is going to be Mayor for the day, follow around nice. uh, Mayor Dave, and uh, do some executive decisions. From what I understand, signing authority, all these. <laughs> Powerful, great things. Sweet. So learn how the mechanics work. So, yeah, great show today. Yes. So, absolutely fantastic. So, and then other than that, we're, uh, <laughs> we're sweet. <laughs> what are we doing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right? Oh, really okay. So, you know what? Let's go right to a break and All let's right. bring them on and uh, let's talk a little bit about politics. <laughs> Kenora would like to thank Wind and Water Interiors for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Wind and Water Interiors, 326 Second Street South. Wetlands provide essential habitat for hundreds of species of wildlife, including fish. But these habitats are disappearing fast. Help us save Canada's wetlands today. Ducks Unlimited Canada, active by nature. One tree over its lifetime will remove about 40 tons of pollution from the atmosphere and replace it with pure air. Think what millions of trees will do. Help Tree Canada grow clean air. Trees do their part. Let's do ours. When you can't do it all, do what you can. Caring for others. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> and One welcome, big happy family. And welcome back, uh, Mayor Dave, and welcome, Maya. How are you five folks doing? This is like all in the family? Is that what you said? Yeah, <laughs> We're a little bit. Family this morning, yes. <laughs> Pretty cozy in here this morning. Cozy. Absolutely. Well, it's, it's better than outside, so it's, it's, it's always nice to have your sunny disposition here. <laughs> well, it's maybe just as slippery in here, though, is it? A little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Maya, you uh, submitted your essay, and yes. you won. How does it feel to be mayor for the day? Ah, uh, actually, it's incredible, you know? I get to run the town, have my right-hand man here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fantastic. And you, um, you do have your essay? Yes, I do. And if you'd be so kind, we'd love to hear it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a 250-word essay, which is short. So... <laughs> okay, so I wrote about why I would make a great mayor. Um, when I was initially introduced to this assignment, I was at a loss regarding what I should write about. 
I've never considered becoming mayor, therefore I don't quite know what the position entitles, and I'm not sure what qualities would be required. With some thought, I realized that although I don't know why I would make a great mayor, I do know why I would like to be mayor. I would like to be mayor because I love our town and its people. Despite the problems, Kenora has, it's still one of the most beautiful places in Ontario, and it's just rolling in potential. I would like to be mayor because I would love to be able to hear all the sides of a story, know exactly what's going on, who it's affecting, and why it's happening. I would like to be able to look at problems objectively and have my opinion heard, to be able to make a difference for our community, our people, and our town. I would like to be mayor so that I could have an amazing support team of trained professionals and regular citizens with whom to consult and absorb their wealth of knowledge. I would like to be able to implement progress and eliminate distress, to see Kenora develop to its full potential and thriving in its element. With that, I have decided why I would make a great mayor. I would make a great mayor because I am willing to devote myself to the people, listen to what they have to say, and act upon their most pressing issues. Nice. Oh, very well. So you're, Mary, you're, Amazing. you're, you're mayor yeah. today, yeah, so you hit the ground running. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, your, uh, what is your day going to entail? For, uh... Well, we have it all pulled out for us here, of course. <laughs> um, we started off, we got to go to the radio station, which was interesting. Mm -hmm. Had another interview there, and then we're going to tour the transfer facility, the water treatment plant, get to have lunch with the council members, and uh, we end the day with a meeting. Excellent. So Dave, what, what's, what is the important things that you want to impart uh, to my, about uh, government and being mayor? You know, we talked about earlier there, just uh, kind of briefly, and I said, you know, it's really about, the whole program is about leadership mm -hmm. and, and learning, because it doesn't matter whether it's mayor or, you know, whatever field Maya decides to go into, and I just, you know, made a suggestion, don't go into political science, but, <laughs> but I mean, whatever field you go into, I mean, it's all about leadership and, and what you do in your community, and I mean, you know, uh, you know yourself, Chris, you're very involved with the soccer, that's a leadership role, so everything you do, it's, it's, it's kind of like a training exercise, and and uh, when you listen to, to, uh, to my, I was going to say my speech, but her essay there, realistically, I mean, she says it all. She's, she's put it very well, and um, I mean, it's, it's excellent. So she's, she's well on her way, and no matter what field she goes into, I think she's going to do a phenomenal job. Absolutely. It's fantastic stuff. So you're, you must be pretty excited. Oh, very excited. Is there anything that you're really excited to learn or get your involved with or just one particular thing? One particular, I think meeting everyone is probably the most exciting part. It's great to see all the personalities that you have to put together to form such a great like council to run the city. Excellent. So you're, you're already on your way to make a good politician. You're kissing babies <laughs> fantastically right now. This is great. Rory, she said great council. Record that so we can repeat that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's great. So, um, so next year, we you doing this again next year, and this will be an ongoing. Yeah, we, this is the second year now we've done it, and um, we we plan on continuing it. Um, it. You know, it's a great way to to get the students at the high schools involved, and um, to give them you know that that opportunity and that option. So, <clears throat> I think it's a great program. Um, you know, we're not the only community that does it; other communities do the same thing. So, um, we're looking forward to it continuing. And you never know one of the one of these uh, students uh, one of these days when they get a little older in life, they might decide. You know, I. I think I'd like to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it was quite an experience I had that time, and I'm, I'm, I might go back and do it. It's a neat idea. Where did it start? I'm not sure. There is a lot of communities. Where do you know? Can you remember uh, where it started? And we've talked about it for some time and just started implementing it in the last couple of years. It came about as a local government week. That's right. Mm -hmm. The local government week initiated it, and certain councils do it, and some do, some don't. So. Well, that's a neat idea. I like it. So when this thing's all done, you go back to school. Do you have to do a report? You have to. How's, what's the next step for you? I don't know, to be honest. They've never told me. Come out of his chair, I guess. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Just been there, done that. Got the T-shirt. They didn't. Your teacher didn't tell you. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what. <laughs> you think it, uh, politics will be a part of your future then, or? Um, definitely leadership in some way. I'm not sure about politics, though. <laughs> so, Dave, since we, uh, since you guys are both here, we should, we should throw some stompers at her and see how she handles the pressure. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for because it was the, the weekend was super icy, it was super a um, little slick, a little dangerous, um, and a holiday. So, if you were mayor, would you have people, the crews, out working on the holiday to get the ice cleaned up? 
Oh, that's a tricky one. Oh, I know. Um, <laughs> I would say yes because it depends on people's safety, of course. Mm -hmm. So that is a big issue. But if they have to miss their holiday due to work, you could give them the next day if it's safer off. Hmm. Not that's bad, Steve. How does that score? I like that. Okay. Uh, that's, that's good idea. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's all about um, common sense and, and uh, um, it's that balancing act, and of course our crews were out on the weekend, and, but we have 670 lane kilometers of road, and you can't <laughs> clean it all in one day. So, um, go ahead. Should, should other students get involved in this, and how do they do it? And I don't know, what would you recommend it? Yeah, I would. <laughs> I mean, so far, even though the day's still early, I've been having an incredible experience, and um, I encourage everyone to enter next year. It was great fun. So um, how long do you give the, the students to prepare their essays? We send out the, um, the request one out a couple of months ago, and uh, I think you have a couple of weeks, eh, Maya, be to, yeah. uh, to get things ready. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, there's a fair, fair bit of lead time. And who and reads I them? I think it's five who minutes of lead them? time. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> So who, who reads them and who chooses uh, the best essay? Actually, council reads all the essays. We get all the essays. We read oh, through them and some of the staff. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we um, we go through and 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 pick uh, um, uh, pick the the winning essay. And uh, you know, the, I think the, the greatest thing about it is uh, Rory last year and this year we've um, um, we've we've all picked the same one. We've, we, I think it, there's it's it's been you know. It's been unanimous from council, so so that's really good. So is it from grade nine to twelve, or uh, what? What grades do you? Uh, I believe essays? it's ten, eleven, and twelve, isn't it? From yeah. both high schools. So that's how many essays did you everybody read? I'm trying to remember how many we had this year. It's it's not a lot. It's a, it's a challenge, and a lot of you know a lot of kids are are real not sure whether whether they want to do it or not. But I can't remember the exact numbers. But yeah. Yeah. well, it's tough too because I know that um, for. Nothing against the younger folk, Maya. but it's hard. It's hard. <laughs> you to get, hooligans. <laughs> it's hard to get them involved into politics. I mean, I know that you know to, to try to get uh, the younger people to actually take interest and, and truly care about what goes on. It is tough. So I mean, it, just kudos to you and, and the other participants and the people submitted that actually care enough to really learn and, and want to know what goes on because mm. it's it's harder. I mean, I'm uh, I'm in the midway, and I mean, I still sort of have those days where like, I want to, you know, you, you pay attention, but in order to get involved and do things, it's I'm still kind of halfway there. So and, and it's a time commitment. When you think about it, I mean, when me and Rory started in municipal politics, it was about the same time, I believe, the same year, <clears throat> and um, and of course in two different communities at the time. But when uh, when you take a look at the time commitment between then and now, like there's just no comparison. You're expected because with the social media and and, and the fact that we can communicate within seconds now, um, you're expected to be there and responsive immediately. And, and mm -hmm. for somebody, for a younger person in the job, it's tough. You, you have to have a lot of flexibility within the workplace. And, and in most cases, I know in, in my years back working for Boise and Abitibi, they, they very basically had um, a policy that, that allowed you to, uh, to, to run for municipal politics and give you the time off that was needed and required. But I mean, not, not all employers are, are that uh, cooperative, so. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely something to consider. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Maya, what's your, what's your platform for being mayor? My platform for being mayor? Oh, boy. Um, I haven't really worked that one out too well yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did say it in your essay. Yeah, I, I did. I really I... think your essay really expressed it exactly. And, and you know what? That's exactly what it's all about. It's listening. It's having the ability. We were talking about it on the way over here mm -hmm. about the fact that people phone sometimes and just phone and, and want to vent, and um, and you just hear them out. And usually, when it's all over, they say, "Well, thanks for letting me vent," <laughs> 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 and then sometimes they apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's just that I mean, and everybody's uh, what people say. Uh, it might not be important to me, but it's important to them, mm -hmm. and that's one of the. The greatest things is understanding that, and, and really, that's what Maya spelled out in her essay, was um, about that understanding and that. And I, I think that's fantastic. Good hey, job. You won't have fantastic. any trouble finding a job after this, I guess. Eh? <laughs> 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 Just use it, put that in part of your resume. I think you're in. Yeah. <laughs> Mayor for it is. Well, that's fantastic stuff. I mean, it's really great. And thanks for coming by, folks, and yeah. letting us uh, and just letting us talk to you. And uh, congratulations, and have fun on your day. Thank so you. no problem. And uh, yeah, you use your right hand man here to uh, to give you some advice when you're making those hard choices. <laughs> I want Main Street pink. <laughs>
It was, <laughs> it was pink a couple months ago, actually. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Miss, where was I? I think at UConn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming by, and uh, we'll see you again real soon, Dave. Thank you for having us. Yeah, Absolutely. Thanks for always, coming a, always, you. always a pleasure, and you never know what to expect. <laughs> today. <laughs> it's part of the charm, my friend. So thanks very much. And we're going to go to a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we're going to wrap up some local news. Go Kenora would like to thank Swift Cash for being a proud supporter of local television programming. Swift Cash, 531 Park Street. Welcome back. <laughs> Beat me to it. Uh, just for the so the viewers know, uh, Councilman Rory McMillan was on as well. He was on the sidelines. So that's what the the off camera banter was. Bit was just talking with Rory. So yes. yeah, another fantastic council person. So we've got some stuff happening in town. There's a you know what? There's, there's a week of a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Mm, and as you saw, we've got uh, bingo, TV bingo tomorrow. As of Wednesday night, seven o'clock. Yeah. Uh, TV bingo's on there, and you can buy the cards at many different places uh, in Kuwaitin, uh, Big Way Foods, B and B General Store, Kuwaitin Place, Chicken Chef in the Mall, Chipman Street Husky, Luby's Twenty Four Hour Store, Luby's Ninth Street, Johnson's Pharmacy. Where else? Uh, Rabbit Lake Store, Red River Co-op, Skyline Store, Sunset Strip Husky, Swift Cash, Tilly's Pharmacade, uh, Pharmasave, mm -hmm. uh, Vets Confectionery, and the Second Street Bakery. Absolutely. So we're down to get your cards. Uh, last week winners uh, from Chipman Street Husky. There's mm -hmm. a bunch, but I mean, get them play. It's awesome. It's mm -hmm. lots of fun, and you can win a couple of bucks for the uh, hundred dollars. Twenty-three hundred dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of harache for Christmas. Yes. So enjoy. Go do it. Get it done. Also, um, Monday and Tuesday next week, we've got a uh, blood donor clinic happening at St. Thomas Aquinas High School. Mm -hmm. uh, call one triple eight two donate or go to uh, www.blood.ca. Mm -hmm. um, they always need blood, lots of blood. Sure. Um, for example, uh, they need two to eight donors to help someone with internal bleeding. Um, they need uh, 50 donors a week to help someone in a car accident. So, yeah, that's a lot of blood. Do you, uh, do you know your blood type? Um, a positive. Really, eh? Yeah, you? No idea. <laughs> I was hoping I you have, didn't. But uh, I do have low iron levels. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I get sent home because my, my iron's low, so yeah. i got to eat the spinach. And yeah, obviously, I think, actually, no, I think I'm like AB. I'm like the most generic blood type ever. So, mm. yeah, yeah. I've never really actually, uh, I've, it's one of those things that you think about. It's like, what type am I? And, it slips in my mind and I forget to do it and I forget mm. to think about it. So, I don't know. Just awesome. Also, um, in two days, mm -hmm. um, the arresting images mugshots at the uh, Lake of the Woods Museum is closing. Mm -hmm. So if you, uh, if you didn't check it out, it's pretty cool. Um, 100, 100 year old mm -hmm. plus yep. mugshots uh, from the OPP are on display. So, so check that out. It closes in two days. Absolutely. And uh, coming up at the museum is the uh, Festival of Trees. Ooh. 
become an adventurous person. It's, <laughs> that was a bit enthusiastic. Yeah. So, <laughs> I know, I, I'm just, I'm full of energy today. But it's really cool, actually. Uh, the Festival of Trees is getting planned, I know, and it's really neat. Like, mm -hmm. I was there a couple of years ago, and every year, just to see the different trees that people do, it's fantastic. Oh. So we'll, when we get more information, we'll definitely impart the information to you, the loyal viewer. Also, mm -hmm. uh, CJRL um, is putting their uh, Christmas Miracle Marathon on, yep. their 22nd annual, and uh, 89.5 The Lake, of course. Yep. Uh, December 1st at the uh, Super 8's Minis Hall mm -hmm. on Lakeview Drive. Minis. Minis. Minis Hall. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Where am I then? <laughs> um, your, uh, your fundraising activities and generous donations of toys, cash, and food uh, will help make Christmas brighter. Uh, the Miracle Marathon is always lots of fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. We were there uh, We were last year. We did a little appearance and sat on the couch and had a quick chat. So it's very, very, very cool. Sure? And we'll be there again this year as well. Great. So, yes. Also coming up, uh, speaking of Christmas, because Christmas is fun, uh, the uh, Santa Claus Parade. <gasps> Mm -hmm. It's slowly creeping up on us. And Do we have a float? Shaw oh. will be will be filming it, though. We will be there. You won't be there, so we'll trace We will be there. Tracy Laffin and I will be uh, doing a little bit of the uh, commentary, mm -hmm. talking about the floats. You'll be live on the street. You'll be live on the street. I'm going to be live on the street? Absolutely. Oh, great. Yeah, okay. you'll be there. Trust us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun, but we will uh, we'll be broadcasting that as well. So that's coming up. It's really good stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, um, next or no, that's uh, tomorrow, mm -hmm. isn't it? The fourteenth. You bet. Um, at the Kenora Rec Center, it's a free event. Um, go check out Protect Our Future. It's the Kenora World Diabetes Health Fair. Lots of information about uh, diabetes there. They have some guest speakers. Florence Highway and Evelyn Linklater are gonna be there from seven to nine. 729, yes. Mm -hmm. Important information there. That's uh, at 7 to 9 p.m.? Yes. yes, yes, indeed. Okay. So uh, there's actually a few other things uh, going on in the, uh, in the world today. So today is the Northwest Business Awards uh, this week for women's, women's Business Awards, I should say. Great. So, yeah, it's um, being held uh, in Thunder Bay, but it's, uh, this is the week to... Uh, Nominate, and so if you're a woman and you want a business and stuff mm -hmm. and everything, this is very, very good to uh, to get out there and get your name recognized and uh, for women in business. Cool. Fantastic stuff. Yes, yes, indeed. This is neat. Um, mm -hmm. it, we've got a gas-powered bike made with fake bones uh, coming to town. Um, it was used in 2010, uh, the series Death Comes to Town. By kids and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like those guys. No, they're very, very funny. The chicken lady is my favorite. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, it was uh, given to the Kenora Rainy River MPP um, after the kids went looking for places to store it. And uh, where is it coming from? It's going to now sits in the uh, Queen's Park office of Sarah Campbell. Oh, that's very, very cool. Yeah, I should go check it. <laughs> you know, that's one of those shows that I... Um... You know, I'm not, a, I'm not a sketch comedy. I'm not a troop comedy guy. Monty Python, I, you know, I love. But after that, there was... You don't like comedy. You don't like dogs. You don't like Christmas. You <laughs> no, don't no. like lights. <clears throat> You're right. I like nothing. Except for me. Oh, maybe my kids. No, no. I'm not saying I don't like comedy. I just, One of these days I'm going to school. I just... I don't... The, the troop, like the, the sketch comedy stuff, I'm not a huge fan of. But kids in the hall were mm -hmm. hilarious. They yeah. were really funny. I just find a lot of the time it just... You know what? You need that right kind of right kind of flavor. Mm. So that just doesn't do it for me. Yeah, you know, I'm a stick in the mud. Absolutely. Indeed. You said <laughs> it, I didn't. So also, um, the health unit has released a strategic plan uh, for 2013 through 2016. Yeah. So it lays out priorities in Northwestern Ontario uh, health unit based on current health needs in our community. So pretty cool. It's going to highlight four major areas, uh, increased levels uh, of physical activity, healthy eating, more community input into the program, and working in partnership with them. So yeah, pretty neat. And you can get a hard copy by request. You can just go onto the, uh, the health unit uh, website, um, and you can request a hard copy of the strategic plan. And physical activity, I think, to be honest, I think that in children, mm -hmm. one of the biggest things uh, that you can do is getting your kids active. Yes, kick it's, them outside, ice forts and snowmen. Absolutely. Well, exactly, especially in the winter. Because, I mean, I'm that way. Like, if mm -hmm. I, play, I play soccer every Tuesday night. But other than that, you just – winter's killer because you, you kind of just sit and you get lethargic. And oh, but we've got that uh, rink 
coming uh, coming into uh, under the tent. That's right. Yeah, we it'll be uh, half half the tent is going to be an ice rink, yep. and it's going to be open twenty four seven. So um, yeah, take your family down skating. You know, mm -hmm. get moving. In. Like I said, absolutely, get some physical activity in there, especially yeah. in the winter. It's going to yeah. be it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I got to get myself a pair of skates. Mm hmm. What is this? <laughs> oh, I'm thinking, so, like... We're going to go to a quick <laughs> break. <laughs> Sorry. We'll come back up and we'll wrap up the show. I have done this before. For those who ride, you know snowmobiling is great fun. What you probably don't know is that drowning is one of the leading causes of snowmobiling fatalities. When it comes to riding frozen lakes and rivers, always check with locals for ice conditions and know before you go. Traveling on ice can be dangerous. Beware of pressure cracks, thin ice, and open water, and always ride with a buddy. When it comes to ice, if you don't know, don't go. Safe riders, you make snowmobiling safe. Welcome back. So, <laughs> one of the things we should talk about too, in the spirit of Christmas and uh, all things Santa, Risky. the giant tree. Yes, that goes up. That's right? one of the things that I've missed, you know, all, mm -hmm. all these years out of out of Kenora is that that big tree in uh, in my in Main Street. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. you know what? It's it is really actually is kind of a staple of the holiday season in Kenora. Yes. So um, I'm not sure exactly when it's going up. Yeah. I haven't really. Heard. We should call Maya and ask her. That's uh, very true. We ask should. Her, we, yeah, we can ask her if it can come up early. Yeah, just yeah. My, on your day, just put the tree up today. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. One of the other questions I have about the tree I've always had is where do they get that massive tree? Good call. It's one of the things I always sort of wonder because I mean, it's, it's big. Can we make that question on, uh, on uh, Facebook? I think so. If you go to the Facebook, our Facebook page is facebook.com backslash go Kenora. Yeah, I, I want to find out where do they get the tree? When yeah. is the tree going up and where do they get it from? Mm -hmm. So if you go on there, you take know. a look, and uh, if you know, let us know. You can also email us at gokenora at shaw.ca. Uh, you can just email us in general and just tell us, uh, you know, how we're doing, if you have any uh, concerns, any comments, any news you want us to talk mm -hmm. about. But uh, tree, we want to know when the tree is going up and where it comes from. Should we mention the Christmas Eve Absolutely. service? At, yeah. Sure, why not? At the Lake of the Woods Cemetery? Okay. Mm -hmm. So There's ice um, candles, too. Yes. So Christmas Eve at 1 p.m., um, there's going to be some uh, sideways singers, uh, mm -hmm. Pastor Kathy Giroux, and um, the lighting of the candles begins at 1.30 p.m. Uh, Christmas Eve yep. at the uh, Lake of the Woods Cemetery. So that should be nice. It should be nice. And you know what? I mean, it's going to be kind of Christmassy and wintry, and the next couple of days are going to be the same. So yes. Go Kenora Weather brought to you by Super 8 and Casey's. A high of minus 3 today and a low of minus 8 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow, high of 1. Low of minus eight with sunshine. And then on Thursday, high of minus three, low of minus seven with more cloudy skies. So I do believe that winter has creeped its way into our lives. Mm -hmm. So as long as we uh, can avoid the yeah. skating rink that has well, happened. Be careful out there and, uh, you know, get some of that sand out of the uh, town of Kenora boxes. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you heard Maya today that uh, don't worry that, you know, if in these kind of conditions, they will be out, they will be sand. They'll be making it safe. Yeah. So that, that is a big thing. I'm telling you, it was it was crazy. Going to the show Saturday night, even we could park to get out onto the sidewalk and walk. I mean, it was so slippery. Mm, yeah. Just lot, you know, lots of people might take a tumble, and we don't want that. So you know what? Get your ice candles, folks. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, too. That's the other thing. Ice yeah. candles. The uh, you can place your orders by December 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get. You can pick them up. Uh, place and light uh, or wax, get wax candles so you yeah can, mm -hmm. so thanks to the sponsors of the ice candles we've got canadian tire best way rentals and the city of kenora absolutely so it's good stuff i i love the ice candles yeah it, that's like, between the tree and the ice candles in the cemetery that is like, like two are you things. turning into a christmas person i've, I've actually i've made a, a concerted effort yeah. this year to oh. make to say my, <laughs> to myself that you know what this year i'm gonna be christmas i'm gonna be all out i'm gonna be captain <laughs> christmas i'm gonna owe christmas uh dave kane I don't know if it's possible, but I'm gonna try. Cause that guy is like that guy is the, the king of Christmas. He's fantastic. So I'm gonna try. We'll see what happens. So yeah, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Have a good rest of the week, folks. Absolutely. And don't forget tomorrow, uh, hump day bouquet giveaway. Oh, yeah. So have a great day, enjoy the weather, and we'll see yeah. you here bright and early Be tomorrow. Be careful out there. <laughs> Bye.